I'm Brandon McLean, and I have a car buying addiction. In order to combat this, I opened a mechanic shop to make some money, to help restore my cars while helping the people I can. Problem is, I can't stop buying cars. I have a lot of cars to restore and little time to do it, and the more I talk about it, the less time I can be doing it. So welcome to Terminated Restorations. Got an interesting call from a customer today. They wanted a restoration project done on a car that's been in their family since his grandfather. Passed on to his father. His father never drove it. And so this is how I got it. Came in on a trailer. Car doesn't start. So I guess we start off by we'll try to see what we can examine here. Um, let's start. We can't. There's no OBD reader on these older cars. So we can do an electric test and see what's good and what's bad in there. Alright, so let's see. It needs a new battery for sure and a new starter. Let's do a compression check. Make sure everything's right in the block. I would hate to do all that and then realize I need to do an engine overhaul. Uh, we need to replace five of the pistons. That's not going to be great. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and check the tires. Let's see if it needs new tires. Alright, we are good on tires. We also want some body work done. Um, Hood, front bumper, rear bumper, right headlight, and the front right fender. So battery for sure. The pistons will probably find other things wrong when we tear into this motor. And a starter. Um, let's go ahead and get it moved over to the first lift. And might as well just get it off the ground. We're going to need the hoist. And let's just get you all the way off. We're going to drain the oil, if it has any, and then uh, take off the... Okay, it had oil. I'm going to take off the gearbox and s the old starter and go ahead and get this motor out of here. Drive shaft looks in immaculate condition for this old car. It was pretty good condition. Nothing noticeably wrong. Starter obviously needs to be replaced. This gearbox looks to be almost shot as well. Yep, so chalk that up on there. Get it lowered back down again. Get might as well get the parts that need to be replaced off. Also bumper replacement as well. All right, let's get that engine pulled out, and let's get it over onto the engine stand so we can get tearing into that, but in the meantime, radiator looks good. This brake servo needs to be replaced, and that battery needs to be replaced. All right, let's get all of that chalked up. Everything that needs to be replaced will just get chalked up on our to-do list here. Looks like that motor needs a complete overhaul just by tearing it out. Um, on the good side, that means that since the motor is the only real bad part about this car, no other real testing is going to end up being needed to be done. There's just one other thing that needs to be fixed. Besides that motor. So let's go ahead and try to figure that out just by looking over the car. Looks like it's the fuel pump there in the back. So, yeah, fuel pump. And this car will be good as new. So let's go ahead and get a fuel pump ordered right away and get that replaced. So we only have to focus on the front part, get a brake servo in this thing, 
Get a battery. And we'll go ahead and clear the rest of our oops, shopping list for now, because we're going to fill that up with a whole bunch of new parts. Get that fuel pump replaced. I got a fuel filter, not a pump. <laughs> Oops. I will use it on some project. Fuel pump. Get that put in here. Fuel pump. New fuel pump. Come up to the front and get a battery reinstalled with a new battery. And then a brake servo reinstalled. All right, let's see where to start on this engine. Let's get this oil filter off. And you're gonna need a whole clutch assembly, it looks like, and flywheel. The clutch plate was actually fine. So, uh, let's see. Get the flywheel, the clutch plate. Let's get all that stuff ordered. Uh, oil filter first, because I know this is the overhead valve, yep. And then we need a flywheel, those are kind of expensive. And then we need clutch parts. We need the pressure plate and the bearing. All right, let's continue tearing into this. We need a lot of parts off of this top. Need the entire one carb system. So let's go ahead and get that ordered. One carb base and a one carb cover. And then I think we're gonna need a carburetor. But it looks as well. Yep, one four barrel carb. Alright, what's next? Let's get these ignition coils wires out. Those are good. Looks like we are gonna have only a couple good sparks. Uh, but we will just go ahead and replace all the spark plugs. Yeah, let's go ahead and get all the spark plugs replaced. Exhaust manifold is good. On that side, looks like on this side we got a good exhaust manifold as well. few parts as we need to replace is nice we need to replace all of this that That needs to be replaced. That I already have one of. Mission coil is good. Power steering pump was good. Looks like the water pump is pretty good shape. Tension clips are good on the distributor. Distributor cap is good. We need the rotor and the actual distributor itself, though. Let's see what our timing belt looks like. Actually, looking pretty darn solid in there. Does need a camshaft. Since I didn't get that added to my list, I'll go ahead and buy it. For the V8 overhead valve. Is it the one carb or does it want the pl plane? 
It wants a plain one. All right, we got that taken care of. Next, we need to take off the exhaust manifold, which I think will need to be replaced. I think I already had that on the list. I did, but that's fine. I'm not gonna buy two of them by accident. I might, actually. All right, engine covers. The rocker assemblies look a little shot, um, but we will figure that out as we go. Some of them are still good, but I think we just get all new push rods and rockers. We'll do all new push rods, all new rockers. Um, it needs new heads. And I think from preliminary compression testing, it needed pistons as well. So we'll figure out what pistons it needs and just replace the ones it needs. I don't think it needs rings for the pistons, but we'll have to check those as we kind of bring them out. on our list to purchase. At least this one has all of its rockers. Some of the ones that I've seen don't have all of their engine components. It's almost as if somebody put them back together just to sell them and cheat somebody. You can already tell which pistons need to be replaced. So let's turn the engine and take a look. Yeah, there's five pistons that need to be replaced. Let's see if the caps are fine. The caps look fine, so we just need to replace five pistons. And when we pull them out, we'll see how the rings look. The rings are still serviceable, so we just need five pistons. And the crankshaft is in fine condition, so time to start ordering. So let's get the pistons. We need five of these. Um, we need engine heads. Two of these. Start with that stuff. Start throwing it back together.
Alright, now that we're done with that section, we can rotate the engine back to top. So we can start working on all the rest of the regular components. So we got our engine heads, so we can get those installed. Go ahead and get the other side installed too. Let's get our timing setup reinstalled. So all of those were fine. Power steering, we were good. I think we were good on the belt for it. So we got a new filter. Alternator was fine. Pulley was fine. Belt A was fine. And our radiator fan was also fine. Alright, time for... And our ignition coil. Time to do all the more expensive stuff. And we can get our exhaust manifolds reinstalled. I don't think I got the oil filter. I did. Perfect. So we need spark plugs, push rods, rocker arms, intake manifold. Alright, let's go ahead and get all that stuff ordered. We are just making the executive decision to get him all eight new spark plugs. Uh, we need to get him 16 rocker arms. Um, we're just going to replace all of them. Um, and then push rod, we just need 16 of these. And then we need intake manifold for a one carb. And then we need a distributor cap. Nope, we did not need the cap, but now we have one. Um, and then we needed engine head covers. We need A for V8 overhead valve. And we need B for V8 overhead. Perfect. I think we have everything we need to get this completely rebuilt. Not 100% completely rebuilt, but a lot of the parts that mattered are rebuilt. Um, not all the pistons are, which could cause him a problem later on, but that is a risk he was willing to take. But when it comes to push rods and rocker arms and spark plugs, I figure they're cheap enough, they should just all get replaced at the same time.
Right, now intake. And then of course we already rebought brand new carb, air filter, and the covers. And then we gave them a brand new distributor cap for no extra charge. Um, I can't remember, did he need ignition wires? No. All right, round air filter base, round air filter cover. I believe that is a completed engine. All right, let's get it off here and back into the car. Install this engine back in for him and let's check if that was everything except for a gearbox. That's all we need now. Let's go ahead and get him that gearbox. He needs the V8 overhead. And then we need to raise the car up. No longer need this hoist. And let's go ahead and get... I think we also need to get a starter for it too. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that ordered while I'm thinking about it. Oops. Starter. V8 starter. And get this drive staff reinstalled because that Grand Olsen, Olsen Grand Club, we forgot to do that and almost sent it back to the customer. Alright, next is just some body work. So, this is... Oops, I did want to look at that. This is a bolt. So, we need a right side. Uh, bolts are... We need a... Right front fender. Um, where am I going wrong and not seeing? The regular headlights need that. That. I want the R1 headlights, my blind. Uh, bolts, bolt, 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 here we go. We need a right headlight. I think that was it. We'll figure that out when we put everything back. New hood. And new bumper. Was that everything? And you need a front bumper as well. And we need new oil. And then bolts. Front bumper. This installed for him as well. And then we need to put new oil in this engine. Of course, all the way back. Perfect. I think this car is ready to go back. Hopefully he enjoys it. Ah, we needed it to need the distributor cap to actually stay on. So we need to put the retention clips back on. Alright, now it should be ready to go. And it was.
Alright. Got the car hopefully to be able to start. So now we can put it on the path here and test all the other aspects of it. A lot of things are wrong with this car. The guy just wants it to be able to pass inspection. Brakes on the front look good. Rear ones need to be replaced. Overall, the front's in better condition. Yeah, a lot of the rear stuff needs to be replaced. All right. Let's move this back to lift one. All right, we got most of the engine problems, I believe, sorted. Uh, mostly now brake-related, spring-related stuff is left. Unless there's some really deep stuff in the engine, because I did not do a complete engine overhaul, if I'm being honest. Brake servo, that's one thing done. Um, starter was fine, I believe. Could be something wrong with flywheel, so we can check that when we race the car. Alright, we might as well take the drive shaft off. Just so we can check into because I think that rear axle might need to be replaced. Everything up front looks fine. About as good as it needs to be the past inspection. Yeah, that looks all good. These are the ones that are fine in condition. Alright, so we need to remove the starter next. and see. Okay, gearbox is in good shape. Flywheel, clutch, and all that looks to be in good shape, so we can put all that back. We might as well keep the drive shaft off so we can do the work that we need to do. I think this rim entire needs to be replaced. So we'll look into that here real quick. I know the tires need to be replaced on a couple. Yeah, rim and tire for these need to be replaced. Looks like maybe on some other ones as well. Let's take a look. That nope, looks like just these ones. Alright, let's get these separated. Actually, I don't even really need to separate them. Go ahead and get those tires ordered. So we need vintage tires that are 15 inches by 205 width by 90 profile. And we need two of these. And then we need the rims. We need 
two of these 15 inch. Start getting those installed. Uh, I'm pretty sure all this in the back here needs to be replaced. Shoes were fine, that's interesting. Alright, let's go ahead. Start. I think we'll just tear apart this entire rear assembly. Out of here. I just think all of this back here needs to be replaced. Every single thing, the way I look at it. I think that fuel pump might need to be replaced. What about the tank? Fuel tank is fine. Alright, let's go ahead and start disassembly on the other side. list as we go. needed to be replaced. Still some other stuff on here that needs to be replaced that we haven't looked at yet. Alright, let's go ahead and just for the hell of it rip into the exhaust. Is my guess something I missed in the motor? And let's go ahead and lower it. Get these tires moving along. Figure out where we're. Wouldn't assume exhaust manifolds, but uh, safe to count them out. The other one. Um, I don't think I ever checked any of that stuff. A lot of things that can be wrong on an old car like this, um, especially when it's not well taken care of, as this one obviously is not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, probably should, on the safe side, drain the oil before I take the pan off. Just to check the pan and to see if it's any of the connection rods underneath. Crankcase looks to be fine. Pistons were said to be fine. What about the oil filter? Both of those are fine. So I'm gonna guess it might be something up front with the steering. So we'll have to tear into the front to find out. Well, I think I'll we'll have to do that tomorrow. Shut up and sit down.